In this video, we're going to take a look at how order of operations works with integers when we have absolute value in the problem. How, what absolute value is, is really a special type of grouping symbol. All grouping symbols work the same, just like parentheses. In other words, we will simplify inside the absolute value first. And once everything has been simplified in, inside the absolute value, we will make it positive. We will make it positive after the inside is done. It's very important we don't make things positive until everything is simplified inside that absolute value. So let's take a look at an example. Order of operations tells us to do parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, then add and subtract, PEMDAS. Absolute value is a special type of parentheses, and inside that we have another parentheses where we'll start. This gives us negative 3 times the absolute value of 2 to the 4th, minus 5 plus 4 is 9, squared. Still inside the absolute value, we can work on our exponents next, working down the order of operations, giving us negative 3 times the absolute value of 2 to the 4th, Remember, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which comes out to be 16, minus 9 squared, which is 81. Still working inside that absolute value, we can do our subtraction. Negative 3 times the absolute value, and 16 minus 81, we might add the opposite to see that the negative is bigger. And when we do 81 minus 16, we'll have to borrow, and when we do, we get 65. So we get negative 65. And now that absolute value has been completely simplified. Once everything in it is simplified, now we will make it positive. As we do, we'll transition to those curve brackets, making it positive 65. And we can see at the end, the only thing left to do is negative 3 times 65. The answer is going to be negative, because we have a positive times a negative, and we might need to do some chicken scratch on the side. 3 times 5 is 15, 18 and 1 is 19, so I'm getting negative 195. Let's try one more example with an absolute value in it. Again, in this problem, following the same order of operations with PEMDAS, We'll start in the parentheses, and in the innermost parentheses, there are some exponents to take care of. This gives us 2 minus 4, absolute value of 3 cubed plus 5 squared is 25, minus 6 squared, or 6 times 6 is 36. Continuing inside that parentheses, we'll do the subtraction. We now have 2 minus 4, absolute value of 3 cubed, plus 25 minus 36. If we add the opposite, we see it's going to be negative, and 36 minus 25 is 11. We're still working inside that absolute value. Next, we're going to do the exponents after the parentheses. 2 minus 4, absolute value, 3 cubed, that's 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27 plus negative 11, and still working inside that absolute value, 27 plus negative 11, so we have 2 minus 4, absolute value of, it's going to be positive, 27 minus 11 is 16, and now that that absolute value is done, now we can make it positive. Well, it already is positive, so we'll just change them to curved parentheses with the 16, and we can finish out the problem by multiplying 4 times 16, which we might need to do on the side, 24, 6, so we have 2 minus 64. And finally, to get our answer, we'll add the opposite. The negative is bigger by 62 when we subtract. And we get our final solution. As you can see with absolute value, we need to simplify inside the absolute value first, because it's a parentheses. Once we've simplified inside, we make it positive, and then continue with the problem. 